It is another beautiful day for baseball here at Swayze Field in Oxford, Mississippi, as we wrap up this weekend series between ULM and number four Ole Miss, the Red Hot Revs looking for the sweep and also to extend this eight game winning streak. Derek Diamond, see him on the mound there, right hander. Big strong right, he's gonna throw you, he, he's got a good arm, got a chance to have a good afternoon. Found himself at third again. There's a first pitch swinging Mason Holt. Sends one to deep left center, plenty of room for bench. And a clean one, two, three inning for Derek Diamond as the Rebels come into the. We are back here in Oxford and here is Tyler Lean, the junior from Kirkwood, Missouri. He gets the Sunday start today for the Warhawks. There's a rip to right by Graham. That's gonna be extra bases, a one hopper off the wall. And Graham has himself an extra base hit as he stays scorching hot. There she goes. Elko has unloaded again. Oh. His seventh home run of the season, and that was a no doubt over folks. And the Rebels with the early lead here in the bottom of the first. And that's as far as you were going to see one hit here. That one went over the bullpen into the very top. There's a swing and a miss. And Derek Diamond has his second strikeout of the inning. ULM going with Bryson Roble, the junior from Justin, Texas. Line to left, a base hit. That's going to be extra bases all the way into the corner. And Mason Holt with a leadoff double to start the top of the fourth. And here comes the squeeze, Diamond to Dunhurst, not in time. Another bunt, as you call Keith, they'll try to get the lead runner, and that one is wild down the third base line. That will allow Humanyuk to score. And including that, bounced off the glove of Elko. That will score De Simone and the Warhawks with their first lead of the afternoon, including two in this inning. And there is a lift to left by Worm. That will bring in another as Henry will score and a sack fly by Worm, and it's now 4 2. And a liner to center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. The throw to the plate will be up the line, and so an RBI single by Beasley. That plates Cervantes. Tell you what, Mike Bianco needs another terrific performance out of Kimbrell here today. Leads the team with those six appearances, all in relief. Most Ks, most innings pitched among the relievers. And they got the bases loaded, and here's Baker, a one hopper, and gets Humanyuk. And a little damage control for Jackson Kimbrell. Got Humanyuk, a very dangerous hitter, to ground out. There's a fly ball to right center field. Back to the track, and it's gone. Jacob Gonzalez, a solo blast. And the Rebels are back to within two. And it's what we've seen Ole Miss do all week. Hit the ball in the ballpark. And I mean, you can't defend that. Gonzalez, the freshman, has got some pop. Wasn't sure that one was going to get out because the wind. And there's a shot out into right center field. Henry will stop at third. Mike Bianco going with the junior right-hander Brandon Johnson out of Cottondale, Alabama, replacing Jackson Kimbrell. There goes the runner, a little hit and run, and it works to perfection for ULM. A RBI single by Worm to score Henry. The 0-2, the runner goes, the throw down to second. Are they going to try the double steal? Yes, they do, and it's going to work perfectly. Before they make the tag at second, the runner scores. A new pitcher for ULM. Looks like Landon Longsworth, senior right-hander. because. There's a bunt attempt at Brandon Johnson. <laughs> How about a little speed, a little giddy up. On the mound for Ole Miss is Tyler Myers. Bouncer to short, Gonzalez. 
Couple of assists to end the top of the seventh. Nice job by Myers. Defending his position. ULM is going with a freshman right-hander from Oklahoma City, Carson Orton. Here goes the runner again, and a base hit out into right center field by Mason Holt. That scores Beasley, and what a huge hit that is for the Warhawks. It's now 8-3. We've got a new pitcher for Ole Miss as the Warhawks looking for a little insurance. Wes Burton, the sophomore from Santa Monica, California. No breaks today for ULM. And there's a strikeout for Burton. And oh, do the Rebels need that. Very well, they scattered eight hits pitching-wise. And there is a soft liner in the left field, and that's a good start for the Rebels. To one to center. And Chatagne delivers a base hit. Plumley is going to go to third. They're at the corners with only one out. Trey Lindsey, the sophomore right-hander from Beckville, Texas, is in for ULM. A bouncer to short. Will it do it? The relay is in time. A 6-4-3 double play, and ULM has pulled it off, winning 8-3 over number four Ole Miss.